you for joining another Alex on Tech and ITY video. We are still here at CES unveiled 7th of January 2017. I'm at the X Jimmy stand. It's a brand I haven't heard of before, but is I'm told wildly popular in China and also very popular in the US. And I have with me Clay Wong. Welcome to the program. Hi. So look, please tell us what does X Jimmy do, and uh, you know what what you're doing here at CES. Sure, sure. Uh, thank you, Alex. Uh, so XGME is a startup company originally from Chengdu. Well, Chengdu is a small city very close to Tibet, mm -hmm. if you're wondering where that is. We're hometown of pandas, okay. giant pandas. Yeah. So, uh, so Jimmy is actually founded, well, a little bit more than three years ago. We're still a startup, but mm -hmm. we're taking a lion's share of the Chinese market. So for home entertainment projectors, we're taking more than 50% in and, China. And these little projectors, I mean, they're, they're booming. I mean, everyone's seen the projector in the offices, right. sort of these longer units. Right. But let's have a quick look here at some of the projectors you've got. Tell us about this, sure. this first model here. What's, what's this one here? Sure, so this one is built for business uh, users. Yep. This one is called Light Tech. It's a three-in-one device. It looks like a super cool Frisbee or something, but they, <laughs> you wouldn't want to throw it. But what are the three functions? So three functions. So when you are uh, having a conference call in your meeting room, mm -hmm. you will use three devices or three gadgets. The first thing you're going to use, of course, is a projector in order to, to present. Or, or a television, PPT. perhaps. Like yeah, a large or a television. Yeah, yeah. And second, you'll probably need a PC oh, oh, yeah. in order to plug a cable to it. And, and third, then you have a polycom or something yes, like that. Yeah. yeah, third, you'll have a polycom or something. Yeah. And this one is all of that three in one device. First so, of I, all... I, I could, yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah. That's the, it's a projector. That's where the light engine is. Mm -hmm. And second is a uh, Intel-based PC. Windows PC. Windows PC. Oh, okay, wow. Yes. Yeah. And what's the processor that you're using in that? And so for this one, we have not launched here in the United States. Yeah. But this one in China, we're looking at the price range of uh, 700 US dollars to 800. Thinking of in thinking of it in this way, you already have a PC here. Yeah. And projector will probably cost you more than 500 US dollars. And PC is another 500. Yeah. And uh, and then the Polycom. But without service, it's a 300, 400 easily. Sure. So now that's costing you only half of it. Yeah. And uh, because we're using an LED light source, so the longevity is five to ten times more than the original light bulb uh, projectors. And as a business product, is it? I mean, is it bright enough for the business market? Yes. What sort of lumens are we talking about? The lumens is uh, 1,100 ANSI lumen. And what would a normal business projector be? Something uh, like that? Some, something around 800 to 9. Yeah. And is yeah. this a an Atom processor or a Celeron or a Core i3 or an i5? It's a Celeron. Celeron, yeah. Yes. Okay. Better than Atom. That's good. <laughs> and um, and so let's just look at the ports on the back just very quickly. Yeah. Just just pass it up again for a second. The ports on the back. The, the ports on the back? The ports, the ports. The ports? It, it must have um, ports? like... Uh, uh, there, there we go, see? Okay. It's got uh, the traditional ones, USB, USB 3, HDMI, so yeah, standard PC stuff. Yes, standard PC stuff. Okay, and so... we have one uh, innovative, innovative award for this one in 2018 CES. This is this year? Yes, yeah, this year. Excellent, yes. excellent. Yes. So this is coming to the US market soon? Yes. And are you going to expand into the Australian market at some point? Yes, that's, that's somewhere we're taking a look at as well. Okay, so I can see if we look, if I just do a sweep down here, we have a series of products including this incredible laser projector, laser TV, but let's start with this next one. What is this product over here? This one is called uh, the CC Aurora. CC stands for uh, Creative Cubic. Mm -hmm. So this one, by taking a look at it, you will think, well, this is it's like a JBL it, mobile speaker. Yeah, it's a speaker, right? But yeah. if you slide the door down, ah. it's a mobile speaker and a mobile projector. Excellent. It has battery built inside and it can sync with your smartphone yeah, very can, easily. You can see the, the lights already you can shining see the there, lights. Yeah? Yes. And so this uh, also comes with Android or it's just a projector? This also comes with Android. And, and which version do the projectors come with? Oh, that's a very good question. I have to check with that. Okay, yeah. sure, sure. Yeah. But can you uh, connect it to a wireless keyboard and mouse uh, to have Android on the big screen? Yes, yes, yeah. you can. So let's take a look at the port. Yeah. So we have uh, on a USB port here. Mm -hmm. So if you have a receiver here, you can use uh, the, the mouse. But it would have built-in Wi-Fi and... It's yes, yeah. built-in Wi-Fi, built-in Bluetooth. Yep. And actually, on, for our users, you don't need to buy a mouse. So let me 
open a remote for you. Yeah. No, it's like an air mask. You can, you can hold it in front of the screen? Yes. So this is a standard remote of all the Xtreme products. Yep. Yep. Here we go. Let's have a closer. You can see it's got the packaging on there, but yeah, the different buttons. Let me, let me remove that. Sure, sure. That would make yeah. it easy. Sure. Let me remove that. So this is actually a mouse. You just open it. Well, it's pretty sturdy. <laughs> yeah, well, look, it's good to have proper packaging and protection. Yep. So Very just, just quickly while you're doing that, what's the, the price of this particular unit here? Uh, so for this one, we have not launched it either. So we are trying to launch it with a price range of uh, uh, 500 to 600. And, and this also won an 2018 honorary award? Yes, yes. Okay, so you have got some award-winning products. Yeah, we're actually winning awards every year. Okay, okay. So let's look at the mouse here. Yeah, so if you, if you do this, yep. And you will see a cursor appear on your screen. Yeah. So that that is the way you can use it as a mouse. And then you just wave it yeah, like a Nintendo One. And yeah, and you can also play a game with okay, it. Okay. Yeah. We have accelerometer and gyroscope built in inside a remote. Excellent. It's so perfect neat. for Need for Speed or those sorts of games. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And and what sort of processor are we talking? A uh, MTech or Qualcomm or what's the? Processor? We're using MSTAR. Okay. Yes. And and how does that compare? I mean, what? There was a uh, little story about our startup company. So our founders, half of them are from MSTAR. MSTAR is a Qualcomm in the television world. Yeah. They're taking a lion's share of the uh, TV chipsets. In China? Well, no, globally. 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 MSTAR was a chipset company from, originally from Taiwan. Yeah. So, so they're an ARM licensee making their own ARM processors. Right, right, okay. right. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. And, and they're making them to be more powerful rather than less powerful. They're making them to be more powerful and we're using the uh, TV chipset more to, to build a smart uh, projector. Yep. So we're using, we're utilizing all that uh, power uh, to enable the gaming and everything else. Sure, sure. Excellent. Now I can see here that there is a bigger brother. Yes, tell big us brother. And so this one is 720p mm -hmm. and this one here is 1080p. It's 1080p, So tell yes. us about this one. This one was our top seller in China. Yep. It's H1 and H1S. So this one, this one, as you can see, that all our projectors. So first, you will see that Harman Kardon. Yeah, the other one was JBL. JBL. Yeah, I mean yes. top brands. Top yes, brands, yeah. we're licensed by by Harman Kardon, and we're backed by them. We're sure. very good friends. And actually, if you, if you lift it up, we can actually see underneath. Yes, we can see these incredible like subwoofery type things, right? Yes. What are they? Yeah, subwoofers. Yes. Subwoofers. Yeah. So yes. I mean, this is serious stuff here. This we're is not... serious. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So so tell us about this one. It's it's like that one, but with more grunt. Yeah, with uh, this is very much like this one, but with more muscles. Yeah, yeah. So first of all, the brightness is three times brighter than yeah. this one. So this is three thousand three hundred. No, no, this is uh, around one thousand and twenty. Okay. So one 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 thousand two hundred. Oh yeah. So sorry. Yeah. So it was the yeah, um. It was yeah. It was the other. It was the the Polycom. Right. Uh, right. Yeah. That was that the eleven hundred. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. So 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 we're talking about business class. Uh, brightness for right, this one, right, which, is, right. which is what you want, yeah? Yes. And so what is this one selling for? Uh, this one is selling for home entertainment. Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of users who is using this one in their bedroom. You know, they're trying to create a uh, cinematic sure. uh, experience and, and what's, of the, what's the price point? The price point for this is around 700 to 800. US. US dollars. And, and this is coming to, us, to the US this year? It's already in the US market. It's for, available. And for, what, for the last couple of months or how long? Uh, for last year. Last year, okay. Yes. And so, how's it been going? Must be a popular it's, seller. Yeah, it's very popular and we're going to launch the second generation of this one, same ID, but with even better features. And, and approximately when is that coming? Uh, it's coming in approximately in one quarter. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah sweet, sweet. Okay, and so then let's move on to the uh, the next unit here. Uh, the, the next unit is actually a, a knockdown version from this one. Mm -hmm. It's 10, uh, 720p, yep. and it's smaller and still a humming card in. So this one is built for uh, for people who want to still use a home entertainment. Actually, just quickly, but both this one and this one also have uh, Android built in. Yes. Okay. All these except for this one. This yeah, is which is a Windows PC. PC. Everything else is Android based. Does it come with the Windows 10 license? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Windows 10 Pro license. Windows 10. Okay. Probably. Yeah. Well, it's a proper business unit. Right. So, as you said, this one, this one is a cut-down version of 
this one. So it's, yes. it's more affordable. It's more affordable. And, and, it's 10, and, 10, uh, 720p. And, and what's the price point of that one? Price, price point is around six, uh, 600 US dollars. Okay, and that's been on sale for the last year too, or this is new? Uh, this is new. So we only launched this in China, and yep. uh, we're looking to launch this overseas. Yeah. And so this this won an award last year or not? Uh, this is not actually. This is uh, this is for for another one. For a different product. Yeah. <laughs> for a different product. Yeah. Okay, so this one's coming very soon. This is coming and, very soon. Uh, yes. Okay. And so what's this little unit here? Uh, this one is a small projector, a pickle projector, built exactly for business uh, businessman, businesswoman. Mm -hmm. So this uh, came with a, a building battery inside of it, and uh, by sliding on a door. You can just turn it on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I can, I can so see the this light. is very convenient. We got a lot of business users. So they previously carry a bulky on PC with them because they're they're trying to show a presentation to their customer, but the PC is too heavy and too inconvenient for them to use. And this one solved the problem because this is Android based. You can simply restore all the files inside of this one. And it has battery building size, so you can use it as a battery for the projector as well as a juice pack for your smartphone if it's running out of battery. And so what's the resolution and the battery life? Yeah, so the resolution is 720p mm -hmm. and uh, the battery life is four hours of using for PPT projecting. Okay, and um, the lumens? Lumens are uh, around 300. Yeah, so, 300. Yeah. so with the, when, when you've got devices with lower lumens, you, the, the room needs to be darker. Right. Kind of the full lights on. That's but right. Then, but then, you know, that, that can be easily achieved in most yes. uh, boardrooms. Yes. But then we come across to this product here, and uh, this is a lazy TV projected. If I just look up here in the in the bright lights of the uh, convention center here, yes. So we can see a pretty astounding picture, which is one of the benefits of laser. So tell us about this unit. Okay. So this is a light laser ultra short, short throw laser TV. Yep. So, as you just mentioned, uh, this is a laser because we're under this ambient light environment. It's so bright over here, but we can still see it. It's crystal clear, and uh, the color is so vivid. Yes, that's where you. The color is so vivid. Yeah. So that's the beauty of it because we're trying to we call it, we call our product the screenless TV. Mm. So if you don't have a experience similar or exactly the same as the TV, you don't call it. So we have the same experience as the TV, only I will say five times cheaper than that. <laughs> so what are we looking at in terms of the, the price of this particular unit? Yeah, and, so and what's the resolution of this one? Right, so we launched the Lizard TV in China. This is A1 Pro. Yep. We launched it in China and this one, uh, you have a, a couple of uh, range of products in here, uh, several SKUs. So the cheapest SKU was 1080p resolution, 100 inch screen included. And this is a 100 inch screen here? Yes, 100 inch screen. So this is, I just pull, pull back here, this is an example of the, that's a pretty, pretty damn big screen it's size. Pretty big, yes. Yeah. So, so for this one in China, it's less than 3,000 3, US dollars. Okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, screens included and installment is included as well. Okay. Yeah. We also have uh, a speaker brother, a uh, very similar ID, but it's 4K, native 4K. Mm -hmm. And so that one can project as large as 120 inches of screen. And uh, it's brighter than this one. It's, uh, I would say it's uh, on about 1,000 NC Lumi brighter than the A1 Pro. And how so many lumens is this one? It's so three, the 1080p? Uh, this one is 3,500. So a 4K would be around 4,000 lumens. Yes, yeah. yes. Exactly. And again, I mean, in the ambient lighting, it's incredibly bright. Yes. And so is that model on sale yet or it's coming soon? Yes, so so this model is available in China already. And uh, well, on Chi well, I say the Chinese market really loves this kind of product because a lot of people, are, they're, they're, they're doing a, uh, what we're calling the consuming upgrade. Mm. So they wanted to have a bigger screen in their new living room. So this will be a perfect choice for them. And so we're talking about around about 3,000 for the unit and the screen and professional installation. Mm -hmm. So what is the approximate price point of the 4K unit with the uh, 120 inch screen? It's about uh, around 11,000 US dollars. Still and cheaper than most of the other yeah, products here in the US. So well, I mean, buy a 120 inch screen for uh, uh, 
ten thousand dollars, it's impossible if you're talking about a, That's a, a right. traditional screen. So there's clearly a, an amazing price saving there. Right. When will these? When will this product? come to the US and to other parts of the world? <laughs> That's a very good question. We're, we're, we're trying very hard to certify this product uh, outside of China. So uh, we'll give updates to that. So stay tuned. Okay. Okay, and uh, any final messages for the viewers? Oh, well, thank you very much for this. This is wonderful. And uh, thank you for a paying visit to this. We are a big fan of IT World. And well, I hope that we get to see X Jimmy in Australia soon. Yes, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Clay. Thank you.